Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined by Andy Lang at Bump Sports on Twitter and Andrew McKinnis at McKinnis Picks. Make sure you're giving both guys a follow. Tons of great information had by both today's free play video is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers six and a half point underdogs to the Buffalo Bills. Now we've seen this one get bet down. Total now is 48 and a half. I just got done filming bet on it with VR and he said the over is now the steam play. I'm like, was this a fake move? I had a, I, I don't know what to do right now. I'm holding an under 48 and a half ticket, Andrew. And I need to know, should I be betting off? Is this under just too low now? Well, Kelly, I'm going to go right with the under here. So it's, again, an accidental segue you're giving me on this game, but I'm looking at a under in this game. And look, I'm a huge prop better, just like Andy. We have our show prop it up together every single week at Wager Talk TV. And what's interesting is this Steelers team in 2020, they were 30th in uh, rushing yards uh, per game and 32nd in uh, rushing attempts. They're number one overall in pass attempts per game. I'm kind of going against the grain here because you expect this team to go out there and throw the ball. They have so many options with Clay, uh, Claypool, Juju, um, so many guys out there, Deontay Johnson, to make plays. But I think that this team became very predictable near the end of the season, and I don't think I'm the only one that thinks that. They have to become more unpredictable, and they have to get the run game going. Uh, and I think they will do that with Najee Harris. And I think that he's going to have a huge workload ahead of him they're going to dump the ball off a lot more and, and, and try and just control possession a lot more than they did last year. You can't be a predictive team, although they have some studs at the receiving position. I'm just not buying into it too much. They also have a very weak offensive line, just one returning uh, offensive lineman, but they have a great defensive line, defensive line great pass rush. TJ Watt, 15 sacks last year, leading the league. Um, and, and looking at Buffalo, I expect Devin Singletary to have a lot more carries this year. It sounds like the reports out of the locker room and all the beat reporters I've read are expecting more of a run game from Buffalo as well. So what's the old saying that you always say and so many other sharp bettors say? Bet the numbers, not the teams. And I'm looking still at this under because I do expect these teams to change their format a little bit, play a little lower paced, and uh, start running the ball a lot more this season. So even at this number, we have seen some movement. I'm sticking with the under between the Bills and the Steelers. Andrew, I got to stick with it too. That was my bet from three weeks ago. Why? Because Ralph gave me an awesome stat as to why the Steelers' defense is going to keep this one under the total. I believe they are 2-13 and 13 to the under in week one scenarios. Why? Because Mike Tomlin has been a defensive mastermind. Andy, I wanted to bet the, the Pittsburgh Steelers here. We know I love the dogs, but as Andrew mentioned, they have tons of offensive line woes, almost an entirely new offensive line to be exact. And I just couldn't get to the window. I know Big Ben has, uh, he's looking a little svelte. You know, he's had some words to say <laughs> in his pressers recently. And I want to say he's got a little bit of, uh, maybe we'll call it something to prove, but I'm just not ready to jump on this team yet. Can I get you to bite on the Steelers? Absolutely. I'm, I'm uh, six and a half points. I got a healthy Roethlisberger. I got a healthy wide receiving core. I get an elite defensive line. Stud running back is healthy, and I'm getting six and a half points. Steelers are 10 and three ATS last 13 games as road underdogs. You, you guys like the under, which means this game is probably going to be close. I'll take six and a half all day. Mike Tomlin, uh, as you said, is working with a great defensive line. And obviously the big story is what is the offensive line going to look like? Uh, it's a new offensive line. Good. I don't want to see the offensive line from last year. I do think an underrated, an underrated piece to look at is uh, the safety duo for Buffalo is elite. Micah Hyde, Jordan, uh, Jordan Boyer, last four years, they've only allowed 67 passes of 20 or more yards, best in the NFL by far. That's going to be a great chess match. Can the Steelers' offensive line give Big Ben time to throw, and can the receiving core win the battle? I think they can. My favorite player prop is Devin Singletary, under 33.5 yards rushing. Singletary got uh, less than 10 carries in 10 games last season, and he went under that total in nine of those games. Zach Moss is health, uh, healthy. Josh Allen is going to run the ball a lot. Singletary is going to have limited chances. Elite defensive line for the Steelers. They're ranked number one on pro football focus. I see Devin Singletary with limited carries. No room to run. Take the under. That's my favorite play in this game. Andy, that is not what I wanted to hear for the guy that is my second running back on my fantasy football team. But that's okay. We're going to let it slide. 
Hopefully you can at least get me a rushing TD just to kind of help me beat Todd Furman in this week's Johnny Detroit Big Money League. That being said, make sure you guys head over to Wager Talk TV. Check out both Andy and Andrew's show. Prop it up every single week, giving out the best information and hoping to make you guys a little bit of extra coin.